seamless sweaters are really fun to knit you know there's very little finishing it's just a kind of a breeze to start from the neckline and just knit down or the other way around uh, but the problem that can occur is that because of the lack of uh, seams and structure you can have a neckline that over time and even sometimes after just a few wears can stretch out stretch out and this happens especially with older kids sweaters you know they they tend to be a little more rough with them when they put it put them on take them off they can really stretch this out uh, so this is what happened here you know this is really stretchy now and i'm gonna add a little bit of structure just here uh, at the back of the neck uh, and i think that will be enough so what i'm gonna do here is um, i'm gonna work a simple uh, bind off um, from some stitches that I will pick up um, in this area, sort of the back of the neck. I'm not going to pick up all around. That would be overkill and it might be that actually it would turn out um, too stiff and the, the sweater wouldn't stretch anymore. I mean the neckline wouldn't stretch anymore. Uh, so this is the same idea as you might have uh, seen before where people work a simple uh, sort of crochet slip uh, stitch here to add sort of a seam after the fact and add some sort of structure. Um, I don't typically love to use my crochet hooks. I'm not, uh, I'm not a crocheter. So I'm just gonna show you a knit um, alternative. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just simply um, pick up some stitches on this first ridge here, right underneath the um, ribbing. And I'm going to always um, pick up either a little smile bump or a little uh, frown bump. Pick up into this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. Just keep going like that. So I'm going to just start pretty much at the, at the junction between the sleeve and the back neck here. Pick up and knit stitch. I'm gonna pick up and knit a couple stitches here and then simply bind the stitch off and I want to be very loose here. It's very important that you don't do it tight because otherwise you're gonna have cinching right, under, right underneath the neckline. So then you keep going, you keep picking up stitches right here and loosely binding them off. One more. Okay. See how it's making a little chain? So you can see here that I made basically a, a chain. It looks like a crochet chain. It's like a this bind off and it's very inconspicuous. And look, it adds so much firmness like right away. And this is why it's important not to work it too tightly. I know it's tempting, but don't. You always check here and make sure that you're not getting any cinching, any bunching, right? It's like nice and flat. So I'm just gonna keep going until I reach my other um, raglan. All right. And I'm done, see? Now I'm just gonna weave in those ends on each end here and here. So that's it, look, so much firmer. And that's all that it takes. So there you go, I hope this was helpful.